Good morning. Well, we're ready to kick off day two of the new financial year. Day one, well, not so great. We did see the market down. It was down around 17 points at the end of trade. A bit of that weakness coming into the oil and energy markets after the oil price gave way in the Asian trading zone. And we haven't seen any reversal of that. So the oil and energy markets were weaker out of Europe and also into the US overnight. But really the major concern around the globe is yet again those trade battles, the trade war between the US and whether it be China or other other countries really weighing on investors' minds, especially out of Europe. We saw the major indices down around half a percent across the board. We also saw falls coming through in the base metal markets on renewed concerns about the global growth situation if we are going to have a bit of a pullback in trade demands. If we have a look at the US markets, though, at the end of trade, we saw the Dow reversing its losses, moving higher, really to do with the banks and the technology stocks more than anything else. The Dow finishing up by 36 points. The Nasdaq which have done well most of the day, up by around 57 points at the end of trade and the broad S&P 500 just slightly higher. Now, if we have a look at those areas of joy, we did see the banks coming back into favour. They uh, did do well on Friday, selling off towards the end of trade, making back a bit of ground today. And also the insurers did well during the session. And of course, those major technology names doing well. The FANG stocks, the real standout today. The energy sector was weak and we also saw a mixed bag occurring in the retail sector as some of those retailers are hit by the fact that the US dollar just keeps on increasing. The US dollar lifting has also put a bit of a negative onto the gold price, which fell overnight to a six month low of 1,241 US an ounce, down around $13 an ounce in the overnight session. And the oil price falling back to around 73.90 US a barrel. If we have a look at company news, there were a few companies in focus. Tesla, one coming out and saying that they'd met the required demand of their production number. Numbers, but we did see a bit of nervousness coming into the share prices. Analysts are wondering whether they can replicate this over time. We also saw Nike, which went for a bumper run on Friday, losing ground. And that's after the news that Roger Federer has decided to leave the brand. He's going to Uniqlo in a blockbuster deal. But it does mean it put the Nike share price under pressure overnight. Now, we've had the announcement of a new president-elect in Mexico. This is going to add a lot more changes to the NAFTA agreement. We're still waiting to see what the final details will be and this could prolong the agreement a little bit longer so that was adding to the concerns in the trade situation. If we have a look at the Aussie market today well we are set for a 19 point gain at the start of trade. Of course the Reserve Bank handing down their decision on interest rates we're not expecting any change but we are going to be looking in the commentary as to their view on the current falls that we're seeing in the Australian dollar, rises in petrol prices and also the movements that we're seeing in housing prices across Australia and today we also get building approvals to watch out for. Lastly, looking at that Aussie dollar continuing to slide overnight, 73.32 US.